Today we're going to discuss the construction of a modern microprocessing facility, typically known as a chip fab or chip factory. There are six phases to this process. The first being site selection. The first step in constructing this microprocessing facility is to select a suitable site. Factors such as proximity to transportation infrastructure, the availability of utilities like water and electricity, and zoning regulations need to be taken into account. Phase two, planning and design. Once the site has been selected, the next step is, is to plan and design the facility. This involves determining the size of the building, the layout of the clean rooms and support areas, and the types of equipment and tools that will be needed. Phase three is construction. After the planning and design phase, the actual construction of the facility begins. This typically involves the use of specialized contractors who have experience in constructing clean room environments. The facility will need to be built to strict specifications in order to ensure that the manufacturing process is not contaminated. Phase four is installation of equipment. Once the building is complete, the next step is to install the specialized equipment that is required for microprocessing. This includes things like wafer fabrication tools, deposition equipment, and testing and inspection tools. The fifth phase is testing and validation. After the equipment has been installed, the facility will need to be tested and validated to ensure that it meets the necessary standards for cleanliness and quality. This involves running a series of tests to verify the manufacturing process is operating correctly and there are no contaminants present in the environment. Phase six is the training and certification of the workers and staff that will be operating the equipment and keeping the facility up to date and maintained. Overall, the construction of a modern microprocessing facility is a complex and highly specialized process that requires careful planning, attention to detail, and a team of experienced professionals. Thanks for joining me, and today we're going to discuss the construction side, construction phase of a modern microprocessing facility. construction phase of a microprocessing facility is a critical part of the overall process as it involves the actual physical building of the facility where microprocessors will be produced. The construction phase can be broken down into several steps including site preparation, foundation and structure, clean room construction, equipment installation, and quality control and testing. Site preparation is phase one. Before construction can begin, the site where the facility will be built must be prepared. This includes clearing any existing structures, grading the land to ensure a level foundation, and installing utilities such as water and electricity. Phase 2 is the foundation and structures phase. Once the site is prepared, the foundation of the facility can be constructed. This typically involves pouring a concrete slab or footings that will support the weight of the building and equipment. From there, the superstructure of the facility can be erected, typically using steel or concrete construction methods. Depending on the soil type, there may be additional supports needed. As you can see in the video, a drill rig or multiple drill rigs have been brought in to drill and install piles, which will give the building additional support. Phase three is the clean room construction. The clean room is the heart of a microprocessing facility and it must be constructed to strict standards in order to maintain a contaminant-free environment. Clean rooms are typically constructed using specialized materials such as stainless steel and feature sealed doors and airlocks to prevent contamination from entering the clean room. The clean room is also equipped with air handling systems that filter and circulate the air to maintain a controlled environment. Due to proprietary reasons, we will not be showing this in the video today.
Phase 4 is the equipment installation phase. Once the clean room is constructed, the specialized equipment required for microprocessing can be installed. This includes things like wafer fabrication tools, deposition equipment, and testing and inspection tools. Each piece of equipment must be installed in accordance with strict guidelines to ensure that it operates correctly and does not contaminate the clean room environment. Phase 5 is quality control and testing. Once the facility is constructed and equipment is installed, it must be tested to ensure that it meets the necessary standards for cleanliness and quality. This includes running a series of tests to verify that the manufacturing process is operating correctly and that there are no contaminants present in the environment. Overall, the construction phase of a microprocessing facility is a complex and highly specialized process. The success of the facility will depend on the quality of the construction and equipment installation as well as the rigorous testing and quality control procedures that are put in place. Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate you guys watching this, and I just wanted to share a little piece of my world with you.